David Groner joins us once again for more estate planning tips. David, welcome back. Oh, good to be back. We have a new term for our viewers today, David. It's forced air. What is a forced air? Okay, forced airship. This is kind of a uniquely Louisiana. Okay. We have the civil code. I think everybody knows that uh, Louisiana law is different from every other state in the United States because mm -hmm. we go back to the Napoleonic Code from France uh, as far as where we got our, our civil laws from. And so what it, what it means is this. Well, first of all, what's the concept? Mm -hmm. The concept is we don't want children, we don't want people to give away their estate and leave children destitute and therefore become wards of the state. If you have children, we're going to say you can give your estate away at least in, uh, part of it, but you've got to leave something for the children if they're young. Mm -hmm. In Louisiana, that age is 24 years old. If you have children below 24, there's a schedule as to what percentage of your estate you can give away and then what percentage has to be reserved for the children. Mm -hmm. But there's also a provision that if you have a child due to mental or physical in, uh, incapacity mm -hmm. and they can't uh, take care of themselves, well then you always have to have a forced portion of your estate and there's a schedule for that. Typically 25% has to be set aside to take care of them because they can't take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. So that's the concept. We have to incorporate that when we do trust and we have to incorporate that if we do a will. So we just have to make sure that that, that provision of the law is taken care of. Mm -hmm. Now once a child is over 24, if you don't want, feel like that that child deserves to inherit part of your estate, that's your choice. You can make that decision. But below 24, the law says you got to give something to them. So that is a change that can be made by the person creating the trust after their child turns age 24. That the, the, the decision can switch, basically. It, it can. Uh, if, if I have a trust where I'm doing children that are under 24, I'll make sure that that's incorporated if they want to make a change. But, you know, honestly, typically... Typically it doesn't happen. Doesn't happen, <laughs> yeah. no. People want to give their children their estate. And the only thing we do with children is we try to schedule it so that they don't get all of it at once. Mm -hmm. They get a little bit at 18, maybe a little more at 21, 25, so that they have little chance of blowing it mm -hmm. uh, than getting it all at once. Yeah, And that can be controlled by the person creating the trust as well. Maybe they want to spread that out even further, maybe not start giving anything until the age of 24, 25? They could do that. Okay. Uh, you know, <laughs> I think I did one the other day that went all the way to age 50. <laughs> I was kind of like, well, really? Okay, if that's what you want to do. Uh, but yeah, you can do that in a, tr that's the other thing, you can do that in a trust. Mm -hmm. You can't do that with a will. Yeah. And you can't uh, have that kind of schedule with the will. Mm -hmm. So it's one of the other reasons why you want to do a trust and uh, be able to take care of, especially young children. Yeah. For more estate planning tips like these, make sure you are checking out David's um, schedule of workshops that he does throughout the state. That can be found on their Facebook page, or you can visit the Acadiana Elder Law website, or go ahead and schedule your appointment with David now by calling the number on your screen.